Three Little Beavers by Jean Halperin Dial. Once there were three little beavers who lived with their parents in a spacious lodge on Beaver Creek. Bevan was an expert with twigs and mud. Beverly performed perfect underwater somersaults. But Beatrix's mud patches fell off the dam. Her tumbling and diving needed practice. All summer long, Beatrix did her best to gnaw trees and stash branches to store food for winter. She tried to mend the lodge and the dam. She dug a canal, sort of. Something always seemed to go wrong. Meanwhile, Bevan and Beverly seemed to do everything perfectly. What am I good at? Beatrix wondered. One evening, she swam away up Beaver Creek to find out. A river otter scared her, but she swam around it. She sneaked past, to sneak past a boat full of humans, she pretended to be a floating log. Beatrix climbed into a grassy meadow. She scuttled and hopped past low, funny-looking trees too dry to eat. She chewed a thin aspen trunk and skittered out of the way in time for the timber to fall. By moonlight, Beatrix nibbled the tender shoots and tasty bark. Then she snacked on nearby berries. Near the water grew a delicious-looking clump of clover. As she reached for it, whap, a box-shaped trap slapped sh shut around her. Beatrix watched the creek flow by, toward the dam and home. She stayed calm and alert, ready for whatever would happen next. Where was Beatrix? Her parents searched the woods and the canals. Bevan and Beverly swam up the creek. Beverly was so excited to find Beatrix that she turned somersaults until whap, a trap caught her too. Bevan chopped down a young willow. As he pushed branches into the cages to give his sister something to eat, he slipped and found himself, whap, in trap number three. Beverly tumbled nervously inside her box until she cut her tail on a sharp edge. Bevan gnawed a metal bar until he chipped a tooth. Terrified, he quaked in a corner. But Beatrix was quiet. She watched and waited. Seeing their sister, Bevan and Beverly felt better. They grew quiet, too. At dawn, people appeared. They lifted the three traps and set them facing each other on the grass. Beverly threw herself against the metal sides. Bevan huddled with fright, but Beatrix stayed curious and level-headed. So Bevan and Beverly relaxed a little, too. We need to move these beavers far away to a new pond where they can't destroy our plants. But they might not do well in a new home. What's the use of moving them? More beavers will come in their place. Excuse me, I'm a guest here. I came to the inn hoping to see beavers. I have an idea. Then hammering and sawing started. Beatrix usually slept during the day, but there was too much noise for that now. Someone shoved a branch into her cage. Bleh! oak leaves, not what she liked to eat. Hours went by until creak, the door to Beatrix's cage lifted. Creak, creak, Bevan and Beverly's cages opened too. Bevan and Beverly were too scared to move until they saw Beatrix. She lumbered into the sunlight, happy and hungry. Low fences now ringed the delicious trees and gardens. Beatrix led her brother and sister down the bank to the creek where the three little beavers feasted on lily tubers and pond weeds. Beaver Safari, nightly boat tour to a real beaver lodge, 7 p.m. These are plants beavers like to eat. Until several guests from the inn approached with cameras. Beverly dove underwater with fright. Bevan snapped a stalk in two and froze, but Beatrix slapped her tail on the water and led the three little beavers as they swam away home. The End